Hey guys, welcome to my Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some pretty professional looking text in Cinema 4D. Um, you don't need any plugins for this uh, tutorial. I'm just going to be showing you how to make the text itself. Uh, I'm not going to be going any advanced effects or anything like that, like lighting, cameras, animation, or anything like that. I'm not going over any of that. Um, so yeah, now that I got that out of the way, let's get started. Uh, what you guys want to do first is in your scene or whatever, um, simply go up here to the top bar. And look for MoGraph and go to Mo Text. Here it'll create a text layer here, and on the top right hand corner, on under the Objects tab, uh, you'll see the Mo Text. Make sure you have that selected. And on the bottom, under Attributes, uh, make sure you have Objects selected. And here you can edit the text. Uh, let me just put in that RTG with that right on Tech Guy, and we got that font there. You can change your font by going next to Font and clicking this. And I'm going to be so original and pick Batman Forever. Alright. Uh, so now, to make it look a bit nicer, we're going to be adding a bit of depth to it. Basically what depth is, is like it makes the letters lengthier. Um, if you move the little uh, two arrows here, you can see right there. You just click and drag, you can uh, change the value of it to where it'll be uh, thinner or thicker. So for this font, in my case, it looks pretty good around, um, let's put it 100 for now. Um, maybe 100 may not look good for you guys, or it's all dependent on what kind of font you guys use. Um, so now, if you want to get a better 3D effect, uh, let's select the mode text layer up here. And press Command C or Control C, and Command or Control uh, V. Basically, we'll just duplicate the uh, text layer. And what we're going to do now is change the depth. Maybe just decrease it by 20. So let's just make that 80. Let's get an overhead view up here. And just center it up a little bit. All right. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, and now with the Motex, the duplicated Motex layer, uh, you want to go next to objects right here and go to caps. And we're going to change the cap to fill the cap and the other cap to fill the cap. Basically, it'll just make a uh, kind of an embezzled effect. Let me just render that real quick. As you see, it has that little uh, kind of like a border onto it. Uh, it just makes it look really nice. Um, here, let me just change the spacing on these guys. Just space them out just a little bit. It's because these two are interlocking with each other. All right. Um, now, what we're going to do now is add some color to it. So we're just going to double click here. It'll create a new uh, material. Double click the material and under color, let's just change this to a um, not too dark, not too light blue. And this blue will be, there goes my phone. This blue will be on the outside, the embezzled layer. And we're going to add some reflection to it. And let's change the texture to for now. And just lower the brightness down. I'm going to lower it down to about 15 and the mix strength to about 10. And you can add some blurriness to it too. I'll just put a little bit of blur. So just put 3% blur. And you can add that and drag and drop this into your text. Um, so as you see, change that to blue. And let's do another one. Let's make the front facing one a very, very light white. Um, not, too li not too bright. Let's just make it a bit gray. Very light gray, I should say. And add some reflection to it. Once again, bring the brightness down. I'm going to bring that down to 14 and I oh yeah, change the uh, what up? change the texture to for now and mix strength to about 10 or 10 to 15 will be good. We got 13 and the blurring is up to two. And just simply drag and drop this into the front facing one. And if we just render this out, it's pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Um, and just change the uh, reflection on the blue one. With the uh, mix strength up a little bit and the brightness up a little bit, maybe about 20. See this? That looks good. All right. Um. So if you guys want to stop here, you, you basically have your good-looking text. And but I guess for the ending part, I can just tell you how to make a good uh, little floor, I suppose. Um. So what we're gonna do is go up here to the light type thing right here, and we're gonna click. And hold and drag our mouse to floor and let go. This will create a, like kind of like a little stage, kind of like a little floor on um on our text. And we're gonna make another material. Just double click the uh, gray part again. Double click the new layer. 
and we're going to change the color to a very dark gray not pitch black but very very dark gray and we're going to add reflection make this for now again and let's bring the brightness up around 30 make strength around 22 actually just make that 30 again and drag and drop this onto our floor and if we render this out we have a nice little reflection on our floor and there you go so that's about it for this tutorial guys this is just how to make uh, some pretty nice text i may make a tutorial later on on how to use a bit of lighting make some light boxes or whatever or soft boxes uh i might be able to um tell you how to animate some things use uh keyframes and such so yeah that's about it for the video guys thank you for watching if you guys would like to check out more videos it'd be awesome to check out my channel or subscribe it'd be great it'll help me out a lot um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, any problems, please comment me or PM me via PM. Um, so yeah, you can also hit me up on Twitter. I have that link down below in the description too. And if you guys can help me out really quick, help my friend out. Um, he's an up and coming YouTuber right now. He's making tutorials. Uh, he's going to start a new series on how to program. Uh, it's going to be short videos on how to program in Java and C++. Um, so yeah. Check him out. He's really cool. It'll make him happy. Make me happy. We're all good. Uh, so yeah, have a good day, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.